What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Apocalypse Movies. My name is Jake Berlin, and welcome to a little segment we like to call the Movie Watching Channel. I was challenged last week to watch a brand new movie that I have never seen before. And if you have not followed us here on Apocalypse or the Movie Watching Challenge specifically, it's very basic. It is very in the title. We watch movies we have never seen before. So the movie that I got challenged to watch was Frank Darabont's Green Mile. Miracles are funny things. You never know when they're going to happen. And when they happen in a place like this, that's the most unbelievable miracle of all. This is the story of a miracle that happened here where I work on the Green Mile. I had never seen it before. It was my first time ever watching it. And my goodness, you guys couldn't warn me about this movie. You couldn't tell me to prepare myself to watch this film. Now I knew essentially about what it was about. You know, I knew the basic small pieces here and there. I also, uh, due to it just being out for years now and it being in many highlight reels and best film uh, type videos, I knew kind of what happened towards the end of the movie, but I didn't know about anything going on in the middle of the movie. And my goodness, was this an absolutely fantastic film. It blew my expectations out of the water. Um, it's not really a movie that, you know, you go around town talking about quite a bit. It's a movie that kind of comes up randomly in conversations when you're talking about a very specific type of movie. Um, but wow, I was, I was pleasantly, pleasantly blown away by this movie much more than I anticipated. Um, performance driven movie. Obviously you have Tom Hanks in there, but Michael Clark Duncan just absolutely bringing the haymaker in this film. Uh, he was such an incredible actor for so many years, popping up in so many movies. Uh, so it was very, it was very tragic when he passed away of a heart attack in 2012. Um, you know, and I'd have to go back and watch many of his movies prior and from over the years. But at the moment, I'm not afraid to say that this is probably his best film ever. Uh, the way that he plays John Coffey is, I don't know if anybody can do it like he does. It, it's truly incredible. Um, and you partner him alongside Tom Hanks, who obviously always brings incredible performances. Um, but you, you, a very sympathetic you know, uh, prison guard who feels for this guy, even before really getting the information about this character, um, he feels for John Coffey. And then you have the very quiet kind of touching side of John Coffey from Michael Clark Duncan. And it's just, it's powerhouse. It's powerhouse after powerhouse combined with more powerhouse. Um, and the film is fantastic. It's written beautifully. It's directed beautifully. Uh, it's just told um on an extremely beautiful level and uh yeah i can see why it's so highly regarded um you know i i think that uh it's it's funny it's it's has really good reactions and reviews obviously it's an it's a nominated film award worthy film but i went and looked it up afterwards and i was kind of looking through the reviews and obviously review sites have changed over the years especially since this movie has come out but it's only sitting at like a 78% or 79% of Rotten Tomatoes. And look, granted, take it with a grain of salt. Rotten Tomatoes is Rotten Tomatoes. We take it how we will. Uh, everyone takes it differently, especially me. But for some, for some things, like looking at that percentage, I expected it to be much higher. I don't see what people wouldn't like about this movie. I really don't. Um, it's very, very well done. And it brings out so many different kinds of emotions in you. Like literally, probably every single one, you know, you have frustration, you have anger, you have pure sadness. Uh, I mean, I cried at the end, hundred percent. I cried at the end. Um, specifically when, uh, you know, Paul and the rest of the guards are walking down the green mile to grab John coffee before, you know, he, he unfortunately meets, uh, you know, his, his end of the line. Um, I just, I am not, I didn't break down, but the waterworks started flowing. They hundred percent started flowing. And, um, I haven't felt like that watching a movie in a while. Like, honestly, 
I, just thinking about it kind of brings like those emotions back. You get like the goosebumps and that feeling. Um, it was also, uh, and you know, just speaking on the other actors real quick, David Morse is great. Really, really great. He's always good in things that he's in. Um, an appearance of Sam Rockwell. Very well done. Uh, many Pete Barry Peppers in there as well as another guard. So many good actors in this, in this movie who went on to have great careers over the years. Um, I'm very surprised I've never seen this movie before. It's definitely a Jake Berlin movie. Uh, I love this stuff. I, I love films like this, stories like this, even when they pull at your heartstrings. It's a little too much. But I'm very happy that I was able to watch it finally. So, um, yeah, The Green Mile, man, it, it absolutely gets every possible thumbs up it could for me. Um, you know, it, it gets all all the great remarks and, and you know, good feelings towards it. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's one of my favorite films of all time, but... It is definitely a movie that's at the very top of the list, very near the top of the list anyway. Um, and yeah, I mean, definitely leaves an impact on you. I'll tell you that. It definitely leaves an impact on you. So uh, yeah, that, those are my quick thoughts on The Green Mile. Um, if you stayed here till the end of the video, guys, thank you so much for watching. We do this every week on Apocflix. Uh, one person from the channel is challenged every single week to watch a brand new movie they've never seen before. There's tons of movie on the catalog that we've reviewed and also are waiting to watch. Um, there's a playlist on the channel that you can check out of all of our reviews. We also do the challenge part of this on our weekly show Apocalypse Now, which is live every Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock Pacific. So tonight, uh, because this comes out on Tuesday morning, tonight you will see me challenge someone else on the panel to watch a brand new movie that they have never seen before. And the way it works is I put four movies into a wheel. We spin the wheel. And whatever the wheel lands on, the wheel decides. So join us tonight on the show to find out who I challenge next. Uh, make sure you're subscribed here on the channel to check out everything we got going on. We got a lot of cool things happening here on the channel. A lot of cool videos and uh, shows and podcasts. Um, we really put an emphasis on a movie hangout. So uh, make sure you're subscribed, following along, hit that like button, of course. And then let me know what you thought of Green Mile down in the comments. I want to hear from you guys since I have uh, you know, just experienced it for the very first time. I want to hear everyone else's thoughts in the comments below. So again, I am Jake Berlin. This is Apocalypse Movies and the Movie Watching Challenge. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And until next time, 